right, which is also known as a loop diuretic. Is that one of the loop diuretics? Now, we have the other one that is called spironolactone. You know, it's been on no. It's been on a lactone. This one is a potassium wasting. Potassium wasting. And this one is a potassium sparing. sparing. Potassium sparing diuretics. Spironolactone. Just remember this spiro, spiro, spiro. That tells you that it's saving what? Potassium. This one is wasting what? Potassium. Now, if this one, is, if this one is, is, both of them are diuretics. What do they have in common? That they are both yes. diuretics. Yes. Now, the diuretics, what they do is that they remove excess of fluid, right? They remove fluid, a lot, like a lot of fluid. But an adverse effect, they will have a common adverse effect. If they both remove a lot of fluid, they both place the patient at risk of what? Removing too much fluid, which is called what? Dehydration. Dehydration. Make sense? So, if they both are diuretic, they're removing fluid, they both place the patient at risk for dehydration. Now, because this one is a waste, a potassium wasted diuretic, this one is placing the patient at risk for what? Hypo? Hypo? Kalemia. Remember, kalemia doesn't have the of calcium, right? What if it's calcemia, that's calcium. Yeah. Hypokalemia without its, is kalemia potassium. is potassium, all right? Hypokalemia. And if the, if the patient has hypokalemia, remember hypokalemia can be reflected on the heart. Remember that potassium, potassium, the function of potassium we said earlier, that is what? Muscle contraction, one of the main functions, right? Muscle contraction, that's why the patient may feel what? Weak and fatigue, has muscle weakness and fatigue. And remember that the heart is a muscle too. That's why they're gonna have what? Heart dysrhythmias, all right? So with hypokalemia, the symptoms might be, you can assess that by hypokalemia. Another way to say hypokalemia is to potassium, equals to 2.2, that's too low, right? That's low. Yeah. That's another way to say hypokalemia. So we say hypokalemia or potassium 2.2 as an example, all right? As a symptom, heart is rhythmic, right? Heart this rhythmic. Now, <clears throat> this, this one, spironolactone, is a potassium, very diuretic, so it's saving potassium. What is the patient at risk for now? Remember that a drug, when the drug does too much of the effect, it causes a problem. All right? When a drug, the drug has too much of the effect, it's a problem. If it's a diuretic and removes too much fluid, it's going to be up to the place the patient at risk for. Right, when it has too much of the, of the, too much of the effect. So if you remove too much fluid, when it's a diuretic, it's a problem because it causes dehydration. When it's removing too much potassium, it causes hypokalemia. But if this one is a potassium, a spur diuretic is saving potassium, a problem will be what? Saving too much. Hyperkalemia, the opposite of this one. Hyperkalemia. Now, in the lab results, how would you see hyperkalemia? Potassium level. Levels higher than elevated. elevated, like let's say potassium 6.2. Is that is that hyperkalemia? Yeah. Absolutely. Because it's I'm just giving an example. But that's the way you see those things in the exam. They can give you the answer, you know, that causes hypokalemia, but they may give you the term as one of the options, or they may give you the lab result. Make sense? Yes. And what happened is that is in the lab, this is in the lab, this is as a term but they may give you the symptom. And also, as the one here, remember that the heart is a muscle. The heart doesn't want any, any imbalance with potassium. So that's why we're gonna have also the same here. Heart, this, rhythm. Got it? 
Same thing. Now, could you prevent this? Yes. By doing what? Medication that. Medication, are you a doctor? Uh, if it's wasted. No, how prevent it. Oh. How do you prevent it? Okay. Can you prevent it? By teaching the patient what? To eat more calcium. More potassium. I know, I'm so confused that. More potassium. Fridge food. Give me two of them, three of them. Banana. Banana. Okay, remember the eiros. Eiros. Banana doesn't have eiros, but potato, tomato, avocado. I don't know about that one. I haven't seen those in the exam. But this one that I mentioned, I've seen them. Okay. All right? Potatoes, tomatoes, but avocado. avocado. All oh. the good stuff. Okay. Avocado, banana, potato, tomato. Rich in potassium. All right? So nothing green? Leafy? No? Leafy is for, for, for vitamin K. Oh, just for vitamin K. Vitamin K. Oh, I understand. Oh. Remember, the K is for potassium. No, for the vitamin. Okay. All right? It gets confusing. <laughs> vitamin K, it doesn't mean that it's vitamin potassium. It's right. vitamin K, that's it. It's just vitamin K. All right? Make sense? Yeah. 